Enjoying my nice promo card collection. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. What? What? Hmm. That's 27, 26, 29. What the? What? Why is there this missing slot here? All right, so finally, one of the biggest mysteries in FFTCG has finally been solved. If you've been a member of the collecting community for a while, you're probably very interested in collecting promotional cards. And one of the biggest questions for quite a while has been, what is PR028? Now, before I start, mindless task of the day. As you guys know, I always do these videos while doing other things. I have a crap ton of bulk from his buying collections that I really need to get uh, kind of sorted and pull the heroes out. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I won't talk any more about that. You can kind of just ignore it, but that's what I'm doing right now. So back to PR 028. Um, that's kind of been like a question that's been around for quite a long time if you've been following FFTCG collecting. Because uh, if you've been collecting, you know that now we're already on like PR 050. Um, I think PR050 is going to be like the uh, another wall. Um, I think 049 is Illua. The point is we're pretty far past 028, you know? So it's been like a real question mark. And in the past, the community has had their own guesses on what PR028 is. If you remember, in the beginning, they didn't always have um, the promotional number in front with the alternate card number. It just kind of had an alternate card number and you had no idea what it was until initially Kageyama had kind of told us what it is. But for a long time, it was anyone's guess. So for PR028, um, even I had made a few wrong guesses if you've been following my promo card list on my website. I think I had it listed as like Guy or something. And uh, it's not Guy. Um, and oh, I think Guy's actually 031. Uh, another guess was that it was kind of... Oh, this is already sorted. Another guess was that it was Yestola, the Chinese promo. A lot of people thought it was that. Um, it didn't turn out to be that either. So for a long time, people have just been asking, like, what the hell is PR028? And that mystery has finally, thank God, been resolved. So PR028 is actually Warrior of Light again. And uh, it's actually a very unique card. I can't wait to get my hands on it because it is the only promotional card made to date that is actually printed horizontally that isn't an A prefix card. Now, if you guys know about the uh, A prefix, prefix cards like the A001, 2, 3, they're always printed horizontally. They're the only ones printed horizontally until now. Now the Warrior of Light is also a horizontally printed card, and my understanding is that it is the first playable horizontally printed card, which I actually don't like because I think that's kind of uh, weird now because normally everyone's used to playing their cards in a specific orientation. Now you kind of have like a random card that's sideways. It'll look like it's tapped or something. I think that's kind of confusing. But uh, the point is that... We finally know what it is. Collectors can finally breathe a sigh of relief because uh, you don't have a giant hole in the middle of your binder. And you're like, what is this card supposed to be? It's not that like you can't get it. You literally don't even know what it is if it exists. And Square has finally, finally given us collectors a reprieve because we finally get to know what it is and fill that hole in our binder and not have to fill it with random junk. Um... So uh, the public advisory part of it is, how do you get this card? How do you get PR028? Now, the only way to get this card is apparently to pre-order the 2017 FFTCG book that is coming out, I think, at the end of May. Now, think about that. <laughs> it's 2019, and the name of the book is like 2017 Annual something. Uh, I forget what it's called, to be honest. Um, I should probably have remembered that for this video, but I'll put it in the black bar below. But uh, the thing is, they knew about this card a long time ago, clearly, if the name of the book is 2017. So I'm not sure what the delay was in getting that out, why it took so long to uh, release that book. 
but it kind of explains the question of where was that card and why isn't it out yet? Apparently they decided to release it a long time ago and they just didn't for some unknown reason. The other thing to note is that if you buy this book, you actually get a uh, seven copies of the card. So it's printed in multiple languages, but I looked at the uh, website and apparently the only way to get it is from the Europe or the US uh, Square Enix stores. So I'm sure that, um, you know, they're, might be additions in other countries but right now everyone's trying to order from either the european or the u.s store and the shipping cost is ridiculous i think the book itself costs like 40 something dollars and i i live in the u.s and it cost me like i want to say 13 dollars to pre-order it with shipping and uh in other countries like to canada I, i've read reports where they say it costs like a hundred dollars to ship or something which is absolutely absurd so I think these books are actually going to be very expensive. I'm going to try to get my hands on a few extra. Um, there's a limit of one per customer, but I'll just ask my friends to pick up a few copies and I'll pay for them or something. Uh, it's unknown what the print run of this book will be, so it's not clear if um, the card itself is very rare or not. Obviously, if they print like 100,000 copies of the book, there'll be like 700,000 copies of the card, and it won't be particularly rare. But I actually don't know right now what the print run of that book will be. No one does. Um, but anyways, the point is, if you want to fill PR028 in your collection and don't want to pay like inflated prices on eBay or whatever, I'm sure it will be more than $20. So uh, it's really in your best interest to just buy the book and not have to pay the premium for just a card and you could get the entire book and six copies of the card as well in another language. Um, so I would say pre-order the damn book, uh, get it, and it's probably going to be the cheapest thing. I'm probably going to buy a few extra and just keep it sealed as a kind of collectible and maybe one day kind of try and flip it or something. Um, that's kind of what I do to fund my collection anyway. So the point of this video is just to let you guys know what PR028 is, and I'll put a little image of it in the video and um, how to actually get it, which is to pre-order and get the 2017 Final Fantasy TCG book. Now, I know many of you guys might have known this already, but for those of you who haven't and have subscribed to my channel, what I'm going to try to do going forward is to try to give you kind of tips and information like that so that it pops up in your feed and you can be like, hey, I didn't know about this card. How do I get it? You know, like all you have to do is subscribe and you'll kind of be notified of this kind of stuff that you don't really get from anywhere else. So anyways, um, oh, there was one more topic I wanted to talk about on that note um, that some of you might also not know about that will make a lot of you very happy. So you'll notice that I said that uh, this book comes with seven copies of the card in several languages. As far as I know, seven is the total number of languages that FFTCG is printed in. If that's not correct, feel free to correct me. But um, the important thing to note there that some of you might not know in your search for like the A003, the Chinese promos, whatever, is the outrage that has kind of stemmed from these language-specific cards where it becomes increasingly expensive and idiotic to try and get these cards to fill your collection. And the only reason it's hard to get is that they're not printed in the United States or Australia or Britain or whatever. And these Chinese people with the Chinese promos were completely marking up the Chinese promos and really slaughtering all the collectors out there. Uh, I just wanted you to know that Kageyama recently said in a stream that they will do away with language-specific promos. So apparently they're not going to reprint any of the previous ones, so don't try and unload your whatever A003s or A002s if you're one of the 10 people in the world who managed to get your hands on one of those. But um, the point is future promos should be printed in every language that makes me extremely happy i'm sure it makes a lot of you other collectors extremely happy that we're not going to have to fish around and try and buy crap at hugely inflated prices from china or japan or whatever it is um, kageyama has publicly stated that from now on promotional cards will be printed in every language now is he really going to hold himself to that i don't know but um Let's hope so. I mean, he seemed to be a pretty reputable guy and has 
mostly held his promises in the past. So I think that's great news for all the collectors out there. It's great news for me because I really do prefer to collect all of my cards in English. And it was kind of upsetting that I couldn't do that without leaving giant holes in my collection, as you saw in the beginning of the video. So anyways, I'm going to wrap it up there. Maybe I'll record a different card chat while I'm doing this. And um, yeah, if you want to be notified of other various news and tidbits in the Final Fantasy TCG world, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.